What's up, everybody? It's your boy Corey, aka GQ Saint, back for another reaction video. Another death battle video, early analysis. I'm glad about I'm glad about doing these again for upcoming fights. So, so last week was Omni Man. This week is Bardock, the father of Goku, Son Goku. I just typically knew him grew up as Son Goku. So, anyway, hmm. yeah, there's another joint that just dropped. So, from that battle, I'm gonna react to that later when I get a chance. Get a, get a chance, I gotta do some quick yard work at the way first I get done recording. But anyway, it's early now, so you know, the bar the father of Goku, the way you know, sent him off when he's been saying something wasn't right before Freeza destroyed his planet. For those of you who Dragon Ball fans like I am, so yeah, I just gonna see are they gonna they gonna make Bardock go Super Saiyan or a strictly great ape in this situation? But anyway, let's get into it, y'all. Y'all know his special request, y'all have a comment. Below, let me know what you what you want to react to. Let's get it right now. In the far reaches of the cosmos, laid a world with a people like no other, born and raised to do just one thing: fight. The Saiyans, a proud warrior people from the planet Vegeta, ruled by the uh, King Vegeta. Well, yep. narcissist much. Exactly. Their pride blinded them to the truth of their impending doom. But perhaps one Saiyan represented the best of them, even during their waning glory days. Bardock! He's cool, he's crude, he's got a bad attitude, and if he goes apeshit, you're totally screwed. And, and guess what? It's the father of Goku. Oh, wow, I never would have guessed. Right? <laughs> What a curveball. So what does that make Turles? Who? Ahem. Bardock was a yeah, cold blooded people say Turles is his, his cousin or his kid. I don't the know. This is a true here, Lord Frieza. They didn't just conquer planets. They wiped out every living thing, leaving Frieza uninhabited rocks to sell away. Bardock was an asshole. Well, it, until he wasn't. Bardock's story has evolved over the years, with multiple yeah. generations to draw from. Including one where he's a brilliant scientist. <laughs> but only one is considered officially canon. Bardock's demeanor began to shift when he met and eventually married fellow warrior Gine and Gine. had two sons, Raditz and Kakarot. No, Bardock didn't go totally soft. He was still a ruthless warrior. You know that iconic red headband of his? It's stained with the blood of his fallen friends. Hardcore! Bardock could fly, move faster than light, and was naturally adept in using his key as an explosive weapon. AKA shooting lasers from his hands! True to his brutal screw you nature, Bardock's moves are all about overwhelming power. His final spirit cannon is like a key powered bazooka. His rebellion hammer punch ignites enemies on contact, and his rebellion spear basically turns him into a super of his son, how strong he is his day, his youngest no son. He will run you over, break your spine, light you on fire, and then and move on to the next guy, all in a day's work for a Saiyan. Marriage didn't change that. While Bardock cared for Gine, in fact being one of few Saiyans of his time to actually have a romantic partner, he yeah, was still no they, family yeah, man. Like most Saiyans, he saw his sons as nothing more than future soldiers. Bardock was a low-class warrior, so it was unlikely his kids would grow up to be anything more than battlefield fodder. But they would still possess the Saiyan's power. A transformation that was the key to their planetary devastation. Big Boogie! Under the light of a full moon, a Saiyan with a tail manifests the Uzaru. This great ape form increases Bardock's power tenfold, turning him into an unstoppable kaiju. Quick, someone call Yajirobe! Wh why? Yajirobe, man! Yeah, I remember like later on the variations, they were a pain in the butt to fight in the video game. I thought Yajirobe's thing was eating people. <laughs> Wait, what? Yeah, in original Dragon Ball, Yajirobe killed and ate a winged Namekian. Well, he was a demon at the time. Yeah, he was a demon. I saw, I watched this series, okay. Dragon Ball. Yeah, I got to see that. That's right, so come King back next week for the full episode of Omni-Man vs. What was his name? Uh, Tam yeah, Tamarine. That was his name. And the uh, so-called demon, his other demon, to make your brother originally kill Krillin. That was Krillin's official canon death. So, and that's how Krillin was the first. Well, he got resurrected from the Dragon Balls and... That's all they do that in the series. How, um, yeah, the Earth to make in the Earth Dragon Shimron couldn't bring back people more than once, but they think they made it made a change, giving them new powers and such. But yeah, once again, this upcoming fight between him and the Ani Man, which is the battle of the Super Dads, I guess. That's what I'm gonna call it. 
I'm going to pick a side. I'm just going to keep back and enjoy the fight. I just decided to be looking forward to watching Death Out again. The two fights between certain characters. And you know they're doing the pan. They're still, you know, putting in work. So, no, not much but respect. But anyway, let me go get this render for y'all. Once again, or Corey K. G. keeps saying, doing, I'm trying to do as much reactions as I can because today is October the 1st for me. I this video dropped a couple days ago. I'm trying to, uh, let's see, let's see. Um, yeah, a couple of weeks. I'm getting ready to go on my vacation cruise. I don't know if I'll be able to record. I might just strictly do some vlogs for my phone or my camera and then upload it. I'm still planning on bringing my laptop and just upload it and just upload it. But as far as reaction goes, I don't know if I'll be able to do that. So in case, I'm going to try to record a bunch of videos and drop them on schedule the following days. And luckily, this with this upcoming fight, yeah, I'm going to say... Get yeah, the last full week of October, that's when I go on vacation. So I still got plenty of time to figure out my situation, how I'm going to do it. I'm still leaning towards recording while I'm on the cruise. And I might have a few of my family members, you know, guest star. But anyway, let me know how you feel about this video. You guys excited, especially with Death Battle being back. Anyway, make sure you give your boy a like, comment, and subscribe. And fantastic day. Peace.